Hello and good day. So today we're going to learn about the anatomy of the nervous system. Now we have come to um, the objective where we want to look at the four lobes of the brain and its function. There are four lobes of the brain and you can see that the major lobes are situated at the front part and it is divided from the second part which is the parietal lobe from this major sulcus here called the central sulcus. So the central sulcus it varies in individuals, but usually is the most prominent sulcus that we can find, which split the brain, okay, between the frontal lobe. So this is the frontal lobe, this is the parietal lobe, okay. And also quite significantly, the red gyrus here, which is right in front of our central sulcus, is what okay, carries or house our neurons that responds to the motor innervation. Okay, so this is the motor cortex, okay, and this is. Um, the sensory one, okay, the somatosensory cortex. So all of the information about sensory will come and arrive at the brain region here, okay. And whereas all the responses, okay, that will move your muscles are coming from the motor cortex, from the front part of the central sulcus. The rest of the frontal cortex can be found here, and they are involved in various other function, including high executive function reasoning, behavior, um, also memory, particularly short-term and or working memory. Okay, so they are very important brain function as well as motor function. So you can imagine if someone are involved in traumatic or accident or there's some blockage of the blood vessels, then obviously some of this function will be impaired. Okay, we can see that the next um, region or the next lobe is the parietal lobe and it is divided from the, the next or the third lobe, the occipital lobe, by a, a sulcus called the parieto occipital lobe, okay? So this lobe will be separated and is situated here, and this is concerning mostly the somatosensory. So all the sensors will be picked up and will be uh, detected in the brain here. So any damage to this structure of the brain will cause you to have loss of sensation. And occipital lobe, okay, the part that is the remaining part here at the back is to do with the visual, okay. So any damage of this area will have implication on our visual. Last but not least, our fourth uh, lobes that we haven't mentioned just now, okay, which is very clear and easy to see, okay, this is the temporal lobe. Okay, and it's divided by a lateral sulcus here. So this temporal lobe consists of a number of uh, areas where it responds to auditory, okay, hearing, uh, and also some comprehension of speech, ability to understand speech and form speech yourself, as well as learning and memory. That's the four main um, lobes of the brain uh, that you need to understand and know the function okay, uh, in general. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you at Yemat. Bye-bye.